All right, this is grade five, module two, lesson four. And in this lesson, students are going to solve word problems involving division and fractions. And specifically, we're gonna use tape diagrams to help us understand the meaning of these stories and how those stories um, lead us through the tape diagram, lead us to division statements and fractions. So let's get started. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with question one, of course. Lacey cuts three feet of ribbon into four equal pieces. How many feet of ribbon does Lacey use for each hair bow? And so we're going to draw that tape diagram. So the tape diagram is going to say we're going to draw three feet of ribbon. So there is my three feet of ribbon. And it says we need to cut it into four equal pieces. So I'm going to cut that into four equal pieces. And it says how much does she use for each hair bow? And so we want to know how much is one of those little pieces. So we've learned from previous lessons, we've got the whole three being cut into four equal pieces. So that's three being shared amongst four things. And so we know that that is three fourths. All right, so that's what the tape diagram is supposed to look like. Is the quotient less than one or greater than one? Well, because we have three things or three meters, being shared amongst four things, cut into four things, that's gonna be less than one. It's gonna be less than one. And then here's our equation. So really they wanted us to put the equation down here. Three meters cut up into four pieces is three divided by four, which is three fourths. And, um, and then basically use your answer from part B uh, to explain how you know that your answer here is reasonable. How do we know that something less than one is reasonable? Well, if you only had three meters being cut into four pieces, that means it's gonna be less than one per piece. Question two, read, draw, write. Noah makes six quarts of punch. He pours the punch equally into four pitchers. What is this going to look like? All right, so how many quarts of punch are in each pitcher? All right, so we're gonna draw a picture of our six quarts, and that's what our six quarts is gonna look like. I'm gonna do a little bit of erasing here because I went too far. Well, bam, all right, and so that is our six quarts of punch, and we need to pour that equally into four pitchers. And so what is that gonna look like? That means I need to take that six and cut it up into four pieces. And we wanna know how much is one of those pitchers. So if we've got six things being shared amongst four pieces, being like six, meters being uh, six quarts being shared amongst four pitchers so that's six divided by four and so we know that that answer is six over four six divided by four as a fraction six fourths and that we know that six fourths is more than one whole and we can see that it is one whole and two fourths left over how do we know that well, there's a variety of ways um, we could do the long division method, six divided by four. Isn't that weird that we write six divided by four like that, but then six divided by four also looks like that? Parents and teachers, be aware that that's gonna be confusing to a lot of students, that here the six goes on the left, but here the six goes on the right. Isn't that weird? Um, so just point that out and make sure students understand that. But anyway, as we divide this long division, four goes into six one time. We use up our four and we have two left over and it's those two left over that are being shared amongst the four pitchers and that's our one and two fourths. 
All right, number three, Julie puts 26 cups of popcorn equally into eight bags. How many cups of popcorn does Julie put into each bag? All right, so we've got 26 cups of popcorn. So that is gonna represent our 26 cups of popcorn. And it says we are uh, putting them equally into eight bags. So I'm gonna just draw my eight bags. So there are my eight bags. And we wanna know how much is one bag. How much is one bag? Well, that means we're sharing, we're taking 26 things, sharing it amongst eight bags. And so that could be written as the fraction 26 eighths. And then we can divide. We could do our long division, 26 divided by eight. Eight goes into 26, three times eight times three is 24. Then we subtract and we get two left over. So our answer is three and two eighths left over. Three and two eighths. All right, let's do a little bit of remembering from past stuff. It says complete the equation and statement, then complete the tape diagram to represent. So we've got four fifths, and that's equal to four, one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. And then we can write that repeated addition as a multiplication. So that's four copies of one fifth. And so four fifths is the fourth multiple of one fifth. That makes sense because you got one fifth. Ooh, I wrote half. Uh, let's go. You've got one fifth. Then you've got two fifths, and then three fifths, and then four fifths, and then there's your four fifths is the fourth multiple of one fifth. Let's see. Then complete the tape diagram to represent the equation. Okay, so I think what I would do is I would call this four fifths, and then I would cut this into four pieces and each of these is one fifth. I don't know, that might be the right answer. I feel like it's pretty good. Um, I might be wrong, but let's see. All right, multiply. You, have, uh, you may draw a model to help you. So this means five times three eighths means we have five copies of three eighths. So it means, whoa, what is that? make that go away I don't know what that is delete <laughs> um, it means we have five copies of three eighths three eighths plus three eighths plus three eighths plus three eighths plus three eighths we can add all of those together and we get 15 eighths and we know that 15 eighths is one whole with seven eighths left over. How do I know that? There's a variety of ways, but I can do it this way. This is what I thought of. I took that 15 eighths and I decomposed it to eight eighths plus seven eighths. And there's my one hole and there's my seven eighths left over. So there's my one hole and seven eighths left over. And that, wow, that was a quickie. That wraps up, let's see, grade five, Module two, lesson four, students were solving word problems using tape diagrams uh, to represent division and fraction uh, problems. And don't forget to subscribe.